All right, guys, today's one is something I need to share because this was actually pretty cool. Uh, kind of for people that want to do coloring pages. Some people, I assume, like doing that, you know. And you don't want to make your own one, but you can import, obviously, from Google, wherever. Uh, so this particular one. Mr. Mario just imported him. Now, what I want to show you is how you can make this just a line layer. So what I mean by that is that when you import from Google, obviously if it's not a PNG file, and I go to color drop on top, I can. But the problem I'm gonna have is later on when I wanna do the background, it has a big white box around it. So the idea of this tutorial is to show you how to change this and change it into a PNG. So it's actually pretty simple, but we'll go through it to make life easier. Because a lot of people get confused and say, well, you could just change the line art by alpha locking this, you know, just doing the swipe across or alpha lock. But you're still going to have that white space when you come to coloring or they'll say, well, why don't you just delete it? Well, that's also time consuming and <laughs> quite a pain in the butt in my ways a lot simpler. So what you do, let's just start this from the beginning. So I'm just going to import my image like so. Then make it as big as I want it. Yeah. Make sure he's in the full shot. And what you're going to do here is a three finger swipe down. Like so. And you're going to press copy. Then after that, you're going to go to layers, add new layer. Click on it, get a mask. And in the mask layer, you are going to three finger swipe down again and press paste. Now put this image onto there. Okay. Then we can get rid of this layer. And then on this particular layer, you're going to press invert. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Undo that fill layer. So you want to press invert. Okay. Now, on the layer, not the layer mask, but the layer itself. I'm going to pick your color. I think people will find this quite satisfying for some reason. It's because it's going to be like a reveal. And then put the brush up as high as you can. You probably want to get a solid brush. Uh, that'll do. And then put the brush completely up. And then you're just going to go over the top. And that is going to reveal your picture with black lines. I probably want to get a better brush than that. Probably like a uh, airbrush. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. A bit bigger. Yeah. And then you can just go over it completely. Make sure all the lines come through. Done. Now, that layer, obviously the reveal part, making sure it's sort of solid. Now this is a complete new file. You can just pinch those two together. And if you were to take the block layer off, or the background layer, this is now a PNG file. So it has no white background away. So that's kind of a real quick, easy tip on how to do it. So now uh, you've got two choices. You can color drop straight into it or uh, you can kind of do cool things with it. You would change this one to uh, reference. Put this above and then you can start doing some actual color dropping. 
but then when I actually come to do the background, let's say I'm just going to pick like a blue, there's no, there'll be no white background, yeah, no big square across it, it'll be like a PNG file. So there you go, hopefully that helped, there's probably another way of doing it, but if you want to change line art for any reason, colour line out, and you've brought a comic book in or a comic book page in or, you know, there's a certain page you like in your book but you don't want to destroy the book, you can take a photo of it and then import the photo into Procreate and then you could just colour on there. It all depends what you want to do. But in essence, that makes life easier. So we'll do it again quickly just the steps so all you need to do that back now nearly so just remember real simple just import your file whatever you want so this is my photo you can tell it is because it's got the square around it three finger swipe down copy Add a new layer, change that layer to a mask layer. On the mask layer, you can invert it now if you really want to. Three finger swipe, paste. Oh no, you can't do that. Really, that's something I learned today. Awesome. So on the mask layer, three finger swipe, paste. There you go. Invert that layer. Now you can delete this layer or turn it off. Then on the layer, not the layer mask, but the layer itself, get your brush and color. And away you go. Now you have, if you pinch these two together, and delete this, you now have a PNG file or a transparent file but also you can colour and change the background without it being a big huge white square across it alright, that's it for today thanks for joining me and uh, we'll try and keep on top of our tutorials since it's been a few days but as always feel free to ask any questions or if you would like a particular tutorial done then feel free to leave a comment Thanks again. Bye.